this section of Intrigue Teaches, we're gonna work on chair designs. Now, the chair designs that I do are usually pretty simple. And one of the reasons I keep them simple is because they're there for a very short amount of time. And I also find that this is one area that I struggle to sell my clients elaborate designs on the chairs because they may have 20 or 30 chairs that need these designs. And if I have a piece that is $100 per chair, that is a lot of hundreds when it all adds up. So I try to keep them as simple as I can. Now what I'm working with today is really cool. This is this little bitty delphinium. This is called uh, Trick Delphinium. It is actually produced, uh, I don't know who grows these varieties. You can ask your wholesaler for it. Uh, it's uh, bred by this really cool company called Ball that they, uh, they come up with all these ingenious new flower varieties to share with the flower market. I love working with them and I love, love, love that they sent these. And what, what, what I like about these is that they are smaller and they hold up really well. And I'm gonna create a little bit of a spray. So I want the spray to be on the side of the chair. And then I've gone ahead and cut this lovely pink ribbon. And I might even double up my ribbon so that I have a nice presentation. When I'm looking at the spray, I'm looking at three different heights uh, to uh, bring together. So I'm just looking at my stem length and I wanna have one, two, three. I uh, almost like stair stepping. These, oh, that, that didn't work. Almost stair stepping the flowers down. So one's taller, one's in the middle. I like to see this fullness. And you see, I'm pulling in the pink. I'm pulling in my lavender. I might do a little bit more lavender. Oh, this one's so good. I'm gonna do six of these on each. Now I do have these whites here. So this is a nice little white there. I do the white right in front. And then here's another pink. So the, the difference between the pinks and the lavender are very, very subtle, uh, but they, they make for a beautiful, it's not even a contrast, it's a beautiful blend of colors. There we go, so the pink, we have the lavender, and we have that cream, that yellow. I, if I put the flowers on like this, that photo all the way up the aisle is gonna look great until people sit in them, and then they're gonna get smushed and broken and crushed. So I wanna be cognizant of the function of this design. So when I put this together, I'm gonna to want it right on the side of the chair, and I want it to come up just above where the back of the chair is, and I want it to flutter out just a little bit, and then the stems are gonna come down. I'm gonna clean the stems up, I'm gonna bind it, and then we're gonna put our ribbon, excuse me, I'm gonna bind them, attach it to the chair, and then I'm gonna attach the ribbon as my last order of business. So it's really, really simple. So. I put my bunch together, I'm gonna put it down on the table, on my design table. I have a little piece of bind it that I've gone ahead and pre-cut. As you know, bind it only sticks to itself. It doesn't stick to anything else, won't stick to the chair. It's really, really safe to use. So I'm gonna take my bind it. I'm just gonna wrap my bind it around. It's kind of like this little mini bouquet we have here. I'm gonna clean up these stems. cleaning up the stems. So now I have this great little simple bouquet that's gonna go on the side of my of our chair. So what I'm gonna do to attach this, now I used to use twist ties and bind wire to do these attachments. I now use bind it for all kinds of things. And doing the chair treatment with bind it is one of the best, uh, one of the best things I have found with this product because it does not damage the chair. It won't leave a scratch. Like if you're using a chenille stem that has a wire and an internal wire, or if you're using bind wire, it can scratch. This does not scratch. So I'm actually going to attach this in two different places. I'm gonna start by attaching it at the bottom and I'm just gonna take my bind it, stick it to the one side of the bind it, take it around the chair, all the way back and stick it to itself. And instantly it's holding really well. Oh, don't want it facing front. Instantly it's holding really well. Now, so what I find is sometimes people brush these or the wind blows and the whole thing can just tip back or tip forward because I don't want that to happen. I'm gonna take my, where's my other piece? This is clear, I lose it. I'm gonna take my other piece of bind it and I'm just gonna go right in and you could do this with bind wire too. You don't have to use bind it for this part. I'm gonna go right in and take one or two of the rear facing stems 
and I'm just gonna bind it to the side of this chair. Let's see. There we go. So simple. So now, oh, I really should have just done one. I'm actually gonna see. Oh, can I get it? I don't know if I can take it apart now. I think I can. I have faith in my skills. Uh, maybe not that much faith. So the reason I'm changing this right now is because it sucked it so tight that it made it just look flat and not beautiful in my eyes. So I'm actually gonna go over, I've got my bind wire here um, and I pulled this bind wire because it's got a little shimmer, it's got it's gold and I like the gold bind wire. Just in case you see it, it doesn't look like, it doesn't look so unintentional like a zip tie. All right, so let's bring this back over here. I actually don't want it as tight as I had made it. I want this very, very loose in here. It really is just to hold it in place. There we go. And there we have it. So final finish, I'm gonna take my ribbon and you could do a double or a triple ribbon, it would totally be fine. Oh, this gorgeous, this delphinium trick is just perfect. I'm gonna take my ribbon around tie myself a little bow. This is really the easiest, easiest, oh, I wanna fix it. Fix the ribbon. All right, I don't want sloppy ribbon. Can't have sloppy ribbon. All right. There we go, and it just makes some nice fluffy tendrils. Uh, definitely could have made the side a little bit longer. If you measure it out, it's easy enough to make them longer. And you might wanna tie multiple ribbons on there to give it more style. You, uh, you can add more of these delphiniums if you want a bigger show. But this right here is a very simple and beautiful way to dress your aisle with really any color ribbon. So, enjoy.